Hey everyone, welcome. We're gonna, today we're gonna be working with quad muscles and we have four of them. The great thing about this body rolling uh, method is we can use these balls to get into the individual quad muscles in each leg to really, really find out where our restrictions and where our um, tightness is coming from. So today you're gonna need um, your pearl ball. Um, you're also gonna need, really like you're gonna need all your balls because um, you might wanna switch out and you might want to use one as a prop, okay? Because we're going to be working in forearm plank um, while we're working on our quads. And so it can get a little tiring in the beginning, okay, if you're not used to this. And because all these videos are just basic videos teaching you basic moves, um, I would recommend having your extra balls nearby, okay? So I'm going to keep my, I'm going to work with um, Pearl today. And you can work with your silver, but We'll start with Pearl and see what happens, okay? And then pull the other balls in to prop. All right, so I'm gonna leave mine right here so I can um, recommend when to bring them in. So I'm gonna get a little sip of my lemon water, my lemon hot lemon water, and then I'll be ready to get started. So this is our individual quad routine. Okay, we're gonna start off with a little warm up first. Um, coming in, just come flip around and come in a downward facing dog. And we're just gonna warm up the body here. Now, from here, pedal out and keep a slightly bent knee. Relax your head. And just warm up a little bit. Take a breath in. Lift your heels up, take a breath out, sink your heels down. And take another breath in, lift your heels. And then drop down and Sink down and exhale out. Good, all right, let's float down into plank pose. Drop your knees down and then lower all the way down into to the earth, all right? And then you're just gonna inhale coming up into cobra and exhale, come down onto your belly. Good, do that twice more. Inhaling, come up into cobra and exhale, come down. And then one more time, inhale, cobra, and exhale, come down. Okay, so let's start to warm right up into the quads. Right arm's gonna extend out. Just roll over to your right side and just come into side stretch. And then you can bend your elbow, make a little pillow for your head if that feels okay. And then just take your top leg up, bend your knee in towards your body. That bottom leg now is gonna have to really fire and get strong here, pressing down through the bottom leg. Just bring your knee in towards your chest and leave your hand in front, right? Extend the top leg and bend. Just extend and bend. Two and one. Extend and bend and bring it back down again. Okay, now bring it in and bring it in front and then bend your bottom knee so your legs are stacked just like that. We're gonna take the ankle on that top leg and just come into a little bit of a quad stretch here. Now don't overdo and just do what you can Breathe in, just break down that front of the quad muscle and breathe out. Bring it forward, bring it back in towards your chest, but in the front of the body and then just take it back. Breathe in, through the nose, exhale out. Good, and then final stretch, bring it in and kind of on the 45 angle and pull it in. Bottom leg could extend out or stay bent and then just pull that leg towards the, your shoulder Take a breath in and a breath out. Good, and then come back to the belly. Inhale into cobra, and notice the difference between the two sides already. Exhale and melt. Push back into wisdom pose. Stretch out. Again, notice the difference between the two legs. Just that little bit of stretching. We'll take a twist, slide your right arm under left and just twist under, look under, take a breath in and a breath out. Good. So again, if, you're, if your knees aren't happy going all the way back, just stay here in puppy. If you can sink all the way back, go for it. Take another breath in and a breath out. Unwind, come back to wisdom. And then we'll do the other side. Thread the left arm under, twist, look under that right arm, take a breath in, and a breath out. Good, one more breath in, 
and breath out. To tabletop, do a couple cat cows here, arch the spine, inhale, cow pose, and then on your exhale, round your spine, coming into cat pose, chin chest, push down, round, and then do twice more, inhale, arch, exhale, round, one more time, inhale, arch, and exhale, round. I'm going to pause right here in the center. All right, one more for this left leg we just did. We're going to do a mandala here. Knee comes to chest, and now open the hip, round the hip like this. Take it in a circle. Just get that hip warm and juicy. Okay, and do it one more time. Good, and then take it behind your back, cross the legs, and just come back. Now, again, if your knees aren't happy doing this, then don't go all the way back. I'm going to show you an on the back version in a second, right? You can just be here and just go back as much as you can. Sink all the way back if you can. Take a breath in and a breath out. Take another breath in and breath out. All work here for the quads um, and really just the whole leg. All right, come on out of that one. Just warming up and then downward facing dog, breath in and breath out. Lift your heels, lower your heels. That's it. Feet wide at the back of the mat. Walk your hands back. Take a squat. Heels high. Take a squat right into. Okay, hot here. Just lift and lower the hips a couple times. Warming up, juicing up, taking these joints in range of motion and then forward fold bend your knees opposite hands opposite elbows just melt let your head be heavy take a breath in and a breath out good just shake your booty a little bit now i'm going to change direction here interlace your fingers and take a nice stretch here shoulder rinse press the shoulders Press the fist to the sky, lift it, pressing from your shoulders up through the arm bones. Good, and then release the arms down. And then rise up to standing. I'm gonna leave the frame for a sec. Reach up over your head, take a breath in, and you're gonna exhale back down into forward fold and walk back out to plank. Now I'm gonna switch sides so I can stay in the frame with you guys, but you're here, stay here, hold plank, and engage your core now. Lift and lower your hips a couple times. And I'm gonna flip around because we're gonna do the, top, the other leg. Lift and lower, getting the core engaged here. We're gonna need it, being on the ball. And then lower the knees, and down to the earth. Good, left arm extends out. And take yourself over to your other, to your left side, okay? So you're rolling to your left. And if you need to switch so you can see me, do it. We're on our left side, right? And then the top legs get, the top leg, right leg's going to flex and point. You can make a little pillow with your head to create a side stretch. Or again, if that doesn't feel right, just stay here, okay? All right, so we're laying on our left side. I know I flipped around a lot. <laughs> and then bring your... Bring your knee in towards you and towards your up, up towards your shoulder and just stretch out here. Bend and straighten, get that leg going. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Three, two, one. Take that leg high and then bring it down. Good. Now bend your bottom leg and top leg and stack the legs. Bring that top leg in towards the front of the body and feel that nice stretch. Good, and then grab your ankle and take a quad stretch here. Breathe in down the front of the quad. You should feel this lengthening and maybe even feel some resistance. Take a breath. Exhale out. Bring the leg forward. Release it, press it forward and then take it back again. Take a hold, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe it in or pull the leg forward now, roll on, roll back a little bit if you need to, and wrap the top arm, pull, and now the leg's coming like on a 45 degree towards your shoulder, towards that shoulder, pull in, breathe in, breathe out, good, 
and then release the leg out to the side. Good, all right, roll to the belly. Take a cobra pose, inhale, notice the difference. Exhale, down. Take both legs now and take, take your ankles and just see, if you can't grab your ankles, then just be here, okay? If you can hold on, go, go for it, hold on to you, flex your feet, and then just press your feet into your hands. Take a breath in and a breath out. And if you get a little cramp in your hamstrings, just release your legs, let them, let them relax, and then go back in. Take a breath. Now, because we're looking at quads, we're just, we're just not worried so much about the back bend. We're just we're pulling your, your feet towards your glutes and then press down from the back of your thighs and lengthen through the top of the legs. Just keep pressing the knees away, press the hips down, push the feet into the hands. Now pull the feet towards the glute. Push the feet into the hands, inhale, and then pull the feet towards the glute, exhale. Nice. Release your feet down to the earth. We're gonna push up into a strong plank and then right into a downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Just feel, melt, 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 melt. Relax your head. Woo! Breathe in and breathe out. Come down into your, into your tabletop and let's do a hip mandala on this side. Lean to the, to the left. And take that right leg now, a big old circle around, juice the hips, juice the hips. Keeping those rotators moving, keeping our body moving in full range of motion. Two, and last one, you got it. And come into seated. Okay, cool. All right, everybody, take a little water if you need it. And then we'll have, we're, now we're gonna start working on the individual quads. We're gonna I'm going to take my pearl and I'm going to take my silver in case I need to prop, okay? We'll start on the right side. Let me show you guys what we're doing, okay? So here we go. You guys are going to be, everybody's going to be facing down together, so I want to show it to you now. So we're going to start at the hip bone. So just take your hands and place it right on the front bone, right front hip bone. That's going to be home base. That's where we're starting. And we're going to work from here and we're going to go down into the leg, so off the hip, down into that little crease, okay? So where your leg bends, that little crease, that's where we're gonna park that ball. And we're gonna work across in here, all right? We're going to go, you have your center quad, then you have your, your two little, little more lateral quads, and then you have your more medial quad. So, you know, it's not, it's not an exact science, but we're gonna be working in to hit all four of these, all right? So we'll start here, we're gonna turn the body and get into the, lateral quads, and then we're gonna go inside and hit the inner quad, and then we'll move the ball down. More lateral, inner, move the ball down, lateral, inner, medial, and then we'll come off the ball and we'll do the other side. So it's just in three spots, angling the body to hit the different quad muscles. Okay, here we go. So bring your, bring your ball to your hip and come on down. Now, the other ball, right? Remember I talked about the other ball, where it can be. Your other ball, you can prop it right under your other side so you don't get, get worn out, okay? Because you can get worn out on this one because we're in our quad, so or in our plank. So take the other one and just stick it under your other hip and then you're able to angle and then go back to the other ball, get it? All right, so here's your forearm plank. You have fiery legs and we're gonna begin to breathe now into that ball, into that right side. So we're working the right side first. So begin to just angle the body over to the right side a little bit. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, melting down, let's review our rolling principles, you guys. Um, weight bearing, without a lot of effort, just use your body weight. Try to turn everything off and get heavy. Take a breath in through your nose and breathe right into the ball. And when you exhale, you're looking for, for depth. So release down into the ball. Take one more breath here, inhale. Breathe into that belly, breathe into the ball, and then exhale and melt. Good, now roll over to that prop ball, roll over to the other ball, 
lift the hip a little bit and just move the ball down into the crease of your hip at the top of the quad, center quad. Go ahead and start to bend and straighten here and just see if you can feel a difference. Bend and straighten. And then straighten out the leg here. Lean over into that right side. Angle in. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Lean into it. Now from here, right there, you're on the top of the, the center quad. Now we're just going to angle the body. So watch me. I'm just going to turn my body and pick it. And maybe you can feel that ec when you come across, you can feel the change where you're going to hit a different muscle. Take a breath in here. Now the top leg is staggered, right? Notice this is that kind of in front of my body. Take a breath in and a breath out and just lean. Turn your quad muscles off and just kind of sink into it. Take another breath in right there and breath out. Turn again just a little bit more and get really almost to side, but not quite. Take another breath and relax and exhale. And then roll back to the center quad and roll your left, just lay your left side down on that prop ball. Good. Okay. So we got it. Now from here, take your prop ball out, drop your hip and just bring your little, and just bring your frog leg up a little bit. Lean into, into the side, press in, take a breath and exhale out. Really press into it, just angle into the ball. So get it, we're hitting all four sides here of the, of the quad group. Take one more breath in, breathe right into the ball, and then exhale out. So the main thing here is just get into the feels of it, right? And then we'll straighten the leg back out again. And now you just did your, your first top part. Now you can just rock yourself side to side here, coming just kind of massaging across that top part that we just did, because we just did a lot of detail work. Go center here. Okay, and now we're going to make a move forward. So just so we don't all climb off our mats, right? Let's just do it this way. We're going to put our knees down and just lift off. Place the, place the push the ball down now, mid thigh, and bring your, bring yourself right back on there. Center, bend and straighten here. Feel, get the feel of it, and then take your prop ball and stick it right on your left side somewhere where you feel supported. Okay, I have mine right under my left hip. Pearl's still on the right. Bend and straighten, bend and straighten. Take a breath in here. Exhale out, lean into that right side. Relax. Now, it can be super tender here, y'all, super tender. And if it's just excruciating, then use your gold ball, okay, on the legs. Take another breath in and a breath out. Just lengthening through that top leg. Lengthen out, lengthen out. Good. Now we're going to turn the body again. So to bear weight into the ball, turn a little bit and see if you can feel. Take a breath. Exhale and melt. Relax. Turn your quad muscles off and just let it happen. Two, one, and then turn a little bit more. Find that fourth, that other, that final lateral hamstring. Take a breath. Relax and release and melt. Turn a little bit more. And then go back to center. See if you can feel yourself bumping back to the center. And then bend and straighten here. Okay? Breathe in and breathe out. By the way, if you want to grab your foot and take a long stretch here, press long through that front quad. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Right? I'm talking, but y'all are breathing in through your nose, out through your nose. All right, and now we're going to go in. So take your ball, take that prop ball out from this, the left side. Do a little frog leg. Pull your leg forward. Press in. Take a breath. And relax and breathe. You can even use your arm to press down. Press your hips down. Really stretch. One more breath in. And breath out. Good. And bring the leg back around. Good. Okay, last, last and final spot, roll over to your left side. Just push the ball down, and you're not at your knee now. You guys are right above your knee. Notice where I am. Final third. Definitely put your prop ball right here. 
okay? Maybe you're getting pooped out already. It's definitely challenging. And this can be a little dicey down here, so bend and straighten, especially when you turn to the side, okay? Take a breath in, breath out, extend. Good, all right, now let's roll. Push yourself over, just roll just a little bit till you feel a little bit of a change. Take a breath, breath, uh, relax and breathe. Turn a little bit more, feel, breathe, inhale. Exhale, relax, yowza. And turn back around, just bump yourself back. And again, if you feel an, an intense spot, that's where you have your tension. And you'll learn, come back, relax, you'll learn as you roll that maybe you need to use your gold ball. Okay, the gold ball is the best ball, it's the most, the best ball in when you're super sore, okay? But the, the pearl that we're using here gives you really good detail to get those quads, okay? Take a little stretch here if you can or want to. Breathe in and breathe out, lengthening the quads here, releasing tension. Final move here, take your prop ball out, roll to the left, and then just pull that leg forward. And this is a great spot, right inside the knee. And ooh, it gets a little bit, it can get super dicey down there. So let's just move the leg in and out, in and out here. And try to like think about not so much your knee, keep your knee bent and use the engage movement from your hip. Good, and you can stay right here, breathe, press down from the inner leg. Good, and then bring the leg back around and come off the ball. All right, so that was that, that was your right leg. Bring your heart down to the earth. We're gonna take a little bit of a stretch here, looking straight down at the mat. Inhale, coming up into cobra pose. Breathe, exhale, and then we're gonna just reverse the whole thing. So push up into your, your, um, your modified plank, add the legs for downward dog. Okay, we're just gonna release the whole thing. Walk your feet forward. Good, and then just have a seat down onto the mat. All right, now we were just in plank, so I just wanna reverse it and just give yourself a little bit of restoration before you switch to the other leg. Palms are flat, inhale, lift your hips, and let your head just drop back. Take a breath in and a breath out. Give yourself a smile. Bring your, knee, bring your hips down, Baddha Konasana, stretch, stretch the legs out, chin, chest, breath in, breath out. Awesome, you guys. Okay, so then all you need to do is um, play the video over again and just do the other leg, okay? So you, want, you always want to do both legs, even when you're having problems in one, you want to do both to uh, make sure that you keep the body balanced and and um, because most most of the time when we have when we have problems on one side the other side's been working hard so enjoy the video um, reach out to me with any questions and uh, replay the video now and do your left leg okay <laughs> all right namaste see you in the next video